Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Matty, my mascot and assistant. In this video we're going to review some things about multiplication and division. Now, both multiplication and division have to do with groups of the same size, groups of equal size and a total. And I drew here a bar model that illustrates this fact. Think of this as like a long board that is divided into equal sections. Each section here would be B long, or we don't actually know it. And the total length is marked here is 78. Okay? So this 78 is divided into six parts here, and each part is B. We can write now two divisions and two multiplications from this. First of all, there's six parts. Each part is B, so 6 times B equals the total, 78. Another, we can simply switch the order of multiplication and get another multiplication from this. Okay, and in division, we start with the total, 78, and we can think of it as divided into 6 groups, right? So 78 divided by 6 equals how much is in one group? Equals B. And then the other division that can be written is 78 divided by b equals 6. These four here form a fact family. Multiplication, division, fact family. If I wanted to know how much b is and I needed to solve b, I would use this one here because it has b equals this calculation. 78 divided by 6 and I can calculate 78 divided by 6 equals 13 and get the answer. Okay, and now this one more time where the total is. In multiplication, the total is the, your answer here. But the division always starts with the total. And uh, here, let's draw a similar model and solve, solve for s. s is an unknown. s divided by 7 equals 13. I will draw first like a bar or a board, long thingy here. It says s is divided by 7 equals 13. Divided by 7 means I need to think of 7 parts. I need to divide this into 7 parts. Okay, what's the total now here? Remember divisions here start with the total. S is my total. Total is what I don't know. In other words, each part is this, is 13. And to find S, I simply multiply 7 times 13, right? 7 times 13 equals s. Let's do that. I'll use mental math. 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 3 is 21. So total 70 plus 21 equals 91. Here is a multiplication equation. It's an equation because it has an equal sign. And it is multiplication. From this simple multiplication equation, we can write two matching division equations and also one more multiplication. Just like here in the fact family, we have four calculations that are using the same numbers. B is a number too, right? Because its value is 13. So over there, where I have 3 times n equals 405, I could write three more calculations. Two divisions and one matching multiplication using the same numbers and letters. The multiplication would be n times 3 equals 405. So I won't write that. I'll write the two divisions. They will start with the total. The multiplication here ends with the total. The divisions will start with the total. And I divide by 3 or divide by n and then I get the other. Like that. If I need to solve for n, I will look for the equation where I have n equals some calculation. So this is the one. n equals this calculation here. And then I could solve n. Here is another division. And I will do now the same, but this time I will write multiplication from it. And another division too. Okay. Division starts with the total. Multiplication ends with the total. Also you can think how division and multiplication being opposite operations, you can just go this times this equals this, okay? So 11 times y equals 209. 
the other multiplication would be y times 11. So switch the order of those two factors. And then the other division we can write starts again with 209, which is the total in this case. And then we switch y and 11. And this last one is what I would use if I need to solve for y. 209 divided by 11. Now let's review the terminology. In multiplication we have factors and a product. Factors are these individual numbers here that are being multiplied. So m is a factor, 4 and 2 are factors too. Product is the answer. This here is the product. But also this expression here is also called the product. Okay? You can think of it as the product written or product not yet solved. What is it, Matthew? Oh, m equals Matthew. He's saying m here symbolizes Matthew's age. And this is an equation that if you solve this, you will find Matthew's age in months. And in division, we have dividend, divisor and quotient. Difficult terms to remember, maybe. Divisor is the guy who is doing the dividing. Okay? That's the easiest, maybe. A here is the divisor. Quotient is your answer. But also, this whole expression here is called the quotient of 60 and A. And then the dividend, of course, is now what you divide, the first number. Lastly, let's write here a division equation. We are told that the dividend is 420. The quotient is 21 and the divisor is unknown and we need to solve what the divisor is. First, we will write our division equation. The dividend is the first number in the division, okay, 420, divided by the divisor. The divisor is unknown, so let's put D equals the quotient 21, okay. To solve this, we can think back to the fact families, okay. 420 divided by D equals 21. I can write a matching multiplication matching division, another division, and check which one of those will give me d equals some calculation. The multiplication would be this times this, okay? That does not give me how to solve for d. The other division, though, is where I start with the same total and then just switch these two. That's what's going to work. 420 divided by 21. Let's try long division. 21 goes to 4, 0 times. 21 goes to 42, exactly 2 times. And we are done. Okay, so D is 20. And in case you didn't yet solve what M is here, 2 times 4 is 8. So 8 times 10 equals 80. Math is age 10 months. You think so, Mathy? Think so. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe he was really made 10 months ago in the factory.